Number one, what is the process to use a Roth IRA with my 401k? Should I do it when working or when I am retired? Okay. Um, yeah, so I alluded to that a little bit about that after tax. Um, but uh, instead of after tax, you also, if your plan allows, because we're talking to multiple plans right now, uh, you could have a Roth 401k. I think almost every plan allows those now. Um, but so let me give you an example to make it easier. Let's assume maybe you make $100,000 a year and you're contributing 10% a year right now. So $10,000. Uh, most people tend to do it on a pre-tax basis. So what that does, it gets them a tax beneficial savings right now. So they put $10,000 into the 401k and uh, they deduct that from their taxes. So they're only uh, paying tax on $90,000. Now that 10,000 grows over time and it grows tax deferred. And eventually when they take it out, they'll pay taxes. Instead, if you want to put that in after tax or Roth, um, then you're not going to pay, you're going to pay tax on that full hundred thousand dollars. You're not going to tax savings now, but you'll get a tax savings later. That Roth 401k is going to grow tax free. So let's assume that doubles over time. And so that goes to $20,000. That 10,000 growth is tax free. So that's where your tax saving comes on the tail end versus right now. And I would argue... <clears throat> I would argue tax brackets are pretty pretty low right now, so it may be more beneficial to do that. But give us a call. We can kind of run through and review. You may want to do half and half, half into uh, pre-tax, half into Roth, or maybe you know half after tax, half Roth. Uh, the after tax comes into that ability for more flexibility, usually from a 401k, because you can typically roll that over to a Roth IRA and have more choices there as well. And then obviously you can do this post-retirement, but there's options for doing it uh, as an employee or post-retirement.